Ghana recorded over 262 cases of human trafficking last year alone. A survey by the Anti-Human Trafficking Unit of the Ghana Police Service shows a breakdown of social structures meant to protect the victims. Organizations in the fight against child trafficking in the sub-region have resolved to step up efforts. At the meeting, a child protection and advocacy specialist of Plan Ghana, Mr. Joseph Hassan, said human trafficking is on the increase due to failure on the part of government, CSOs and individuals whose support is crucial to tackling the problem. Participants looked at the dangers associated with human trafficking since they are often put into forced labor in homes and sometimes work as prostitutes and other nefarious activities. An officer from Plan Ghana, Joseph Hassan, urge the government and other social organizations to commit more resources to deal with the situation. The project coordinator of Plan Togo, Melanie Bandi, urged Ghana to take a cue from Togo with regards to reducing child trafficking, adding that efforts must be concerted. If your NGO is only doing the awareness raising on child trafficking or human trafficking, and you are not you know, doing the psycho social, psychological and social and support to victims, I'm not sure you will benefit from doing it. It's useless. We want to give more chance to NGO working on psychological and social support. We can help them. The child trafficking program taught participants how to report human trafficking issues, build strong support bases, and how to provide shelter for victims. Participants were from Togo, Benin, Nigeria, and Cameroon.